As I was growing up, uh, one of my favorite forms of literature was science fiction. You know, watching programs like Star Trek, uh, reading uh, books by Robert Heinlein and uh, some of the, the great science fiction authors. I was always fascinated by how science and how the future was changing our society and what we could, what we could be looking forward to in the future. And one of the great things I think about my career and working with the Navy is the variety of technology that's there. There's a lot of different things that you can choose from, a lot of different fields you can go into. And decisions that you make in undergraduate or graduate school about the, the technology or the drift of your career don't necessarily fix you to a certain career path. And I think the Navy has been great in allowing the flexibility to go into areas that I think are of, of, of greater interest. I work in electronic warfare, which is uh, a lot of people don't know what that is. It's, uh, it's using the electromagnetic spectrum as a weapon, essentially. Uh, you may have heard of uh, the phenomenon of jamming. Uh, that's what electronic warfare is. Uh, we can also use the electromagnetic spectrum to deny the enemy uh, their use of the spectrum. So, for instance, to uh, turn off their communication systems, to defeat their networks, those sorts of things. Uh, some people refer to electronic warfare as the weapon of least regret because it's something that you can dial back or you can change the intensity and if you and you can turn it off uh, so it's not like a missile that you have to that you shoot and then you can't recall this is something that you can actually control so my job at the electro at the office of naval research is to develop technologies that are leading to the future of electronic warfare developing new transmitters of radio frequency, developing new lasers that would go against electro-optic or infrared guided weapons, uh, develop new waveforms for creating new effects, those sorts of things. I have to admit, when I was growing up, you know, uh, I was not uh, part of a military family. Uh, the idea of working for the military really I didn't really feel strongly one way or another about it, but since going to, to work for the Navy, I'm, I'm much more aware of the warfighter's mission, and certainly protecting uh, the warfighter is a, is, a, is a key goal. And I like the fact that electronic warfare, as I mentioned before, is, is kind of a selectable weapon. Uh, I, I, while I appreciate the, uh, the need for uh, weapons like missiles and guns and things like that, there's a little part of me that you know is a little reluctant to go into that technology because of you know the the effect and, and the collateral damage that can result. Electronic warfare, I think, is kind of the best of both both worlds. You can really effectively defeat the enemy without necessarily causing large casualties, uh, and achieving those sorts of effects, uh, I think, is it, it's it's nice that, that we're able to do that. One of the things that's very challenging for the future is that. In the past, the United States used to be the world leader in technology and could pretty much dictate terms on the way it was doing things. However, the, the launch of the internet, the availability of technology all over the world has made our, our enemies much more sophisticated. Uh, so we have to go that extra, that extra step, go that extra mile to develop new technologies that are, that are different enough from theirs or make better use of the technologies that we've got to allow us to do a, a different mission. One of the things that I think always motivated me was the questioning, the, the, the puzzle solving sort of aspect of it. Uh, the fact that, okay, I see how something works, but how does it fundamentally work? I, I see the effect, but, but what's causing that to happen? I think that that innate curiosity is, is something that, that drives you. And if you have that in you, then I, I think that you should be encouraged to go into mathematics or science because that, that feeds there. Fundamentally, science and mathematics is puzzle solving. And if you like puzzles at all, I think I, I would encourage people to get into it.